What should we be for Halloween? Maybe we can be princesses. Oh my god, that's such a good idea. What was that sound? I don't know. Maybe we should go investigate it. Whoa! Whoa! You know what? I'm just gonna go in. Daniela, where'd you go? Whoa. Oh my gosh, this place is so cool. Can she not hear me? Guess I have to go in. Daniela? Toby, over here. Wow. This place is like so spooky. I know. Let's go. But if you get us lost, I'm gonna slap you. Shelby, I won't, I promise. Wait, I see someone coming. Good, maybe they can help us get out of here. I don't think they're safe to talk to. Maybe we should, come on, let's just go hide in here. Oh my gosh, that doesn't look human. I have no idea what that was, but we should probably leave quickly. Shut it! Quick, grab that wall! Okay, quick, walk it before they come back. You guys didn't go in there, did you? Yeah, why? That locker is cursed. Whoever comes inside never comes out. Well, we came out. Yeah, but barely alive. Yeah, but you guys were lucky. Yeah, I know. We should probably get going. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. Today we will be interviewing staff and students about their opinions on candy, trick-or-treating, and Halloween in general. Let's get into Who am I here with? Mrs. Clark. And my question for you is, what's your opinion on little kids trick-or-treating at the same time as teenagers? I think that it should be allowed, definitely. Okay. Why, though? Well, I think little kids, this is a fun holiday for all kids to dress up and be someone they want to be in the future, maybe, or someone they... Uh, like so I think that everybody should be able to dress up and trick-or-treat at the same time if adults are with the little kids and teenagers are being respectful it could be a fun holiday for everybody all right thank you for your time you're welcome from here today Adeline Gonzalez my question for you today is what is your opinion on little kids trick-or-treating at the same time as teenagers um I think it's okay because as long as like the older people are being nice to the little kids it's yeah, that's good. Thank you. You're welcome. Who am I here with today? Miss Lola. Okay, my question for you today is, do you think it's a good idea for trick-or-treating to be on a school night? So, I think that trick-or-treating is okay to be on a school night, but some kids have a curfew. So, it'll be probably better to be on the weekend. Okay, and why is that? Because some kids have a curfew. <laughs> on weekdays and it wouldn't be fair if some kids couldn't go out on a weekday after school right yeah thank you who am i here with peyton laser do you think it's a good idea for kids to um trick or treat on a school night slash weeknight no i don't because i stay out really late during trick-or-treating because i don't only trick-or-treat okay thank you for your time who am i here with today mr basham Okay, my question for you is what's your opinion on students eating Halloween candy at school? For the most part, we already give them candy sometimes if they do, I don't know, a project well, they're really good in class. But I, I think it would be absurd if some child were to come to school the next day with a giant bag or pillowcase full of candy and just start munching all day, every day. First off, it's not good for your health. And second off, do that at home. That's, that's how I feel about it. It's exciting, and if you're going to do that, give me some. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Who am I here with? Luke Gunyer. And I'm here to ask you, what's your opinion on kids eating their Halloween candy at school? Well, I'm not a big fan of it because, like, a lot of people eat really loud. Mm -hmm. And I just hear, like, the, app, the wrapper opening or, like, the smell of it. Just, like, just not a fan. All right, thank you for your time. So there you have it. That was our MS staff and students' opinion on Halloween. Hello, Armis. Some of you have noticed 
that our fellow student Ainsley hasn't been acting like she normally does. Lately, she's been acting angry. Ainsley has been so helpful in facts and stuff, like with helping me measure and sew and bake. But lately, she's been angry. She's normally really helpful in class, helps the other kids out, and is really nice, but recently she's been really distant. I'm really concerned. How do we know what's been up with Ainsley lately? Like, she used to always help me find the answers whenever I needed help with the answers. She, and now, here, lately, really, I don't know, it seems like she's just been angry. Ever since I've known Ainsley, she's been so sweet, happy, just wonderful to be around. But to be honest, lately, she's been a little angry. If you happen to see Ainsley being angry, remember to keep your distance and stay safe. Remember kids, beware of Angie Ainsley's wrath and keep your distance. This is Maddie, signing off. What's up guys, it's your girl. Today we're gonna be spending 24 hours in a haunted school. On Halloween, let's get into it. Okay, let's set up. Did you bring food? No, I thought you were bringing the food. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh my God. This thing is not working. Okay, I think I got it. We start setting up now. Okay. Okay, here, hold the food. Okay, we get the food. Okay, we got the blanket. I think I'm just gonna lay it down. Yeah. Okay. And I obviously had to bring some makeup, cause like, why not? <laughs> this looks great. Okay. Perfect. Elena's gone. She left to go grab some stuff, but um, she left me here alone, and I just heard something. <gasps> I think there's someone coming. Hey, wanna play a game? Uh, sure. What game? Since this school is so called haunted, how about Charlie? Charlie. Uh, don't you think that's a little scary? No, come on. It's fine. Let's go. About this? Yes, let's go. Okay, three, two, one. Charlie, Charlie, are you there? Oh, no. Okay. No, 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 no. Come on, we've got to ask another question. It can't be real. Okay. We're going to ask. Uh, if you haunt us. Okay. Charlie, Charlie, are you here to haunt us? <gasps> no, 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 I'm leaving. <laughs> I guess we should go eat. Yeah, and stay away from that hallway for sure. Yeah, okay, let's go. It's eat time. What did we what did we bring to eat? Cookies. Well what else did we eat? Oh, that sounds so good. You put them in the actual bag? Well sorry, the box is crusty. You look crusty. These are the confetti cake chips ahoy cookies. It's now 8.07. Okay, we're gonna go back to that hallway and look in some of these lockers. See what anyone left behind. We're gonna be checking these lockers to see what's in them. Yeah, starting. With, these are old lockers. Yeah. And we don't know what's in them. So. Starting with this one. Okay. No. Just a basic empty locker. Okay, let's do this one. Okay. Then, no. I think these are all gonna be empty. Yeah, these are all probably gonna be empty. Okay, let's check out this one. <laughs> Shut the door. Okay guys, so Elena's like looking for a key right now. We're locked in here. That was like so creepy. Um, I don't see a key. Uh, here, there's some bins over here. We should check these. Come check these. I can't turn this one first. Hey, 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 I think I found something. I think I found something. Yeah, yeah, check this, check this. Yes, we got out. Let's that go. was close. That I was told close. you we shouldn't have came here. I know. I'm kind of getting it now. Let's just like go to bed and wake up and leave in the morning when we wake up. Yeah. Okay, let's just, let's go, just go to bed. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello, RMS. I'm Alan Gonzalez. And I'm Cry Little. Today, we're going to be interviewing and discussing if people should be able to wear their Halloween costumes to school. We will be interviewing 5th, 6th, and 7th grade teachers on questions about it. Let's get started. Do you think students should be able to wear their Halloween costumes to school? I absolutely think they should be able to wear their Halloween costumes to school. Second question. Do you think they're a distraction in class? I do not, because 
my class is so focused on my amazing teaching, why would they ever be distracted by costumes? Thank you for letting me interview you. Thank you. Okay, I'm Adeline Gonzalez and I'm here with Mrs. McSherry. Do you think kids should be able to wear costumes? Um, I do, as long as they are obviously school appropriate. Um, I feel like you guys enjoy dressing up, so yes, I do. Um, one last question. Do you think it's a, dis a distraction in class? Uh, I mean, no, because if you guys have cell phones which are a distraction, um, all sorts of things. So no, I do not. Thank My name's Kai Little, and I'm here with... Mr. Bernardes. And today I'm going to be interviewing him. First question, do you think students should be able to wear their costumes to school? I don't really care. Second question, are they a distraction in class? They could be a distraction. If they were, then they shouldn't wear those costumes. But beyond that, it's just a costume. Thank you for letting me interview you. You're welcome. Those are teachers' opinions on if students should wear costumes to school on Halloween. Thank you for watching. This is Kylie Little and Adam Gonzalez signing out. Have you ever wondered what it would be like if you made a logical decision in a horror movie? Well, let's show you. The scenes we'll be creating will be from it, it on screen. <laughs>
Harris. Today we'll be interviewing a couple of students about candy. We will ask them what their favorite candy is and why. We will also ask them what the top selling candy was in 1981, 1999, and 2006. In 1999, the top selling candy was Jolly Ranchers because everybody liked the fruity flavor. In 2006, the top selling candy was Milk Duds because everybody liked the sweet flavor. In 1981, Skittles was the top selling candy because everybody liked the variety of flavors. Okay, I'm here with Jacob Miller, and today we're going to be asking you questions on candy. So, what's your favorite candy and why? Reese's because um, it has peanut butter and chocolate, and I love peanut butter and chocolate. That's always a good answer. And what was the top selling candy in 1999? Mm. Twisters. Okay. What was the top selling candy in 2006? Skittles. And what was the top selling candy? in 1981. Milky Way. Okay, thank you for your time. Who am I here with today? What is your favorite candy and why? Um, airheads, because they're chewy. Alright, what was the top selling candy in 1981? Okay, what was the top selling candy in 1999? Top selling candy in 2006. Four heads. Okay. I'm here with And today we're going to be asking you some questions about candy. So, first question What's your favorite candy and why? And then it's because of the hard shell, because of the chocolate. Uh, what was the top selling candy in 1981? What was the top selling candy in 1999? Okay, last one. What was the top selling candy in 2006? Okay, congratulations. You got one of them right. It was 1981 and Skittles. So you get a piece of candy since you got that one right. And good job. Who am I here with today? Mason Schrader. What is your favorite candy and why? Kit Kat because I like the taste of it. Okay. Um, what is the top selling candy in 1999? Hershey's chocolate. Chocolate. Okay. What do you think the top selling candy is in 2006? Buttercup. What do you think the top selling candy in 1981 is? Kit Kat. Okay. There you have it. Those are people's answers on the top selling candies in different years. I'm Grayson Boyer. I'm Elijah Strader. And I'm Luke Gunyer. Signing, Signing off. off. Have you heard about the legend of the spider? What are you talking about? It all started when a spider drank some of the school milk, and after drinking it, his body mutated into a strong and evil spider. That to this day haunts the students of RMS. Should we be worried? I don't know. How long has the spider legend been going on for? What's that over there? What are we gonna do? This box for is our only shot. There it is. Did it work? I don't think so. Well, where did the spider go? I don't know, but we should go to the next class. Okay.